Hi, I'm Cindy Pridmore. I'm a senior engineering geologist at the California Geological Survey, and we're going to talk about some of California's volcanic rocks. Um, we have several areas in California where we have volcanoes in the past and present. The yellow and red triangles on this map show where our high threat to moderate threat volcanoes exist. These volcanoes are studied and monitored by the U.S. Geological Survey. You can see there from all the way from Northern California with Mount Shasta all the way down to Southern California, we have the Salton Buttes. Um, some of the rocks that come from California, this rock here is an ash flow tuff, also explosion. It, was, it flowed as well as it, it exploded. Uh, this is from the Bishop area of California, the Bishop Tuff. Uh, also, you can find it uh, near the Mammoth Ski area, so very well-known rock. It's 767,000 years old, so that's how long ago that occurred. Uh, up in Northern California, Mount Lassen, uh, it's one of our most recent eruptions. This is Lassen here, uh, showing a picture showing uh, it erupting in 1915. Okay, some of the types of volcanic rocks we have here, we have a volcanic bomb. And the reason why when I picked this up, I knew it was a volcanic bomb by itself. It actually had a long tail. It was lava that was flown out of the, the volcano while the lava was still uh, molten and pliable. And then when it landed on the ground, it broke off its tail, but it actually has what you see is a crust around it. Um, some lava has lots of gas in it. This, this lava here, this basalt, uh, when it cooled, has all these little air holes. That was because as it cooled, the, the gases were coming out of, out of, the, out of the magma. Um, over here, we have some pumice. Pumice is a really neat rock. It's filled with air holes, too. And you can see there's so much pockets in there that it actually floats. I can't even make it sink. Uh, pumice is mined. Uh, this is a piece of pumice that you can buy at the store. It's used to clean your sinks and counters. And you can see, I can't even get that one to, to sink either. Obsidian is a real common uh, volcanic rock all over California. Uh, it's called, other, the other name for it is volcanic glass. And when you break obsidian, it makes very, very sharp edges. In fact, some obsidian to this day is still used for, for medical scalpels or medical knives uh, for during surgery. But our Native Americans in California use this rock quite a bit for bows and arrow, for, for arrows uh, and other tools and knives and things like that. Inside the volcano, down at depth, um, the molten rock is called magma. And if the magma never makes it out of the volcano uh, and cools, it, it grows into crystalline rock. And this is granite. So granite is basically sort of the guts of the volcano that never got to erupt. So all these different types of rocks can be found throughout California. Um, how would you like to see a volcano right now? So we're going to make our own homemade volcano here, put our baking soda in here and load her up. All right, we'll get it real, really loaded up there. This is vinegar that we'll be shooting down inside there. So on the count of three, we're all going to say, there she blows. Okay? One, two, three. There she blows. Oh, look at that lava flow. How cool is that? If you'd like to learn more about California volcanoes, go to the U.S. Geological Survey California Volcano Observatory website. There's lots of great information there. Thanks.